This is Twit. Interesting story in 9 to 5, Mac, uh, and patently Apple. Apparently, patent, uh, Apple has just gotten a patent for the fingerprint reader in the new MacBook 16-inch. Up to now, fingerprint readers on iPhones have been capacitive. It is an optical sensor, and it works very well. I have to say, on my 16-inch, it's just as fast. I didn't even know that was a different kind of uh, sensor. This might be telling. Uh, perhaps uh, optical underscreen sensors might be coming to the iPhone as well. Um, very. Uh, so they got a patent on it. It's already in the MacBook 16. What do you it's think? It's a rumor. For was it this year or next year? That years? was. It's a yeah, rumor that, was that a it rumor was. That came up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That there would be uh, in the not too distant future there would be phones with Face ID yeah. and Touch ID, right. and the Touch ID would be optical like that. So you know there would still be no physical home button, but there would be a way for you to use your finger to unlock your phone. So yeah, I see that coming, especially now that we're looking at a patent. That means you know we're looking at evidence of them you know, working toward that. And, well, they and have, with and it's, the 16-inch MacBook Pro having it already existing. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I, my experience has been it's very fast, very accurate. It does a great job. It's just as good as the capacitive Touch ID was on the iPhone, for sure. Yeah. I love it. By the way, it was gnarly. It was gnarly for a couple of, of vendors for a couple of models was it? for a while, but it's gotten way better. Oh, I'm yeah, really like happy. some of them, they made the, and I think Qualcomm just introduced an even newer version of the ultrasonic as well. That just takes up way more space. So it's, it's because you, you don't see the physical target, you know, like it's like a virtual target and people weren't getting felt false readings or it wasn't taking an accuracy. So now they're just making them bigger and bigger. And hopefully it'll be so big at some point that it won't really feel like it's a sensor. It's just, I'm picking up my phone and it's unlocking. Yeah. I'm very happy. Uh, by the way, that's 16. This morning, I, I, so was, I was using it at breakfast, and uh, I sent a Slack, and Slack has that kind of like the male whoosh, but it has an elaborate stereo whoosh. And Lisa <laughs> said, what the hell's that? <laughs> she thought it was like a jet airplane thing. <laughs> the speakers on that thing are so good. And I said, this, it's the speakers on this MacBook. Listen, and I played some music. It's just mind-bogglingly good. I have to I say— I went back to the— Go ahead. I went back to the butterfly one because I had to get a bunch of files off, and I was like, "What am I typing on?" It's only yes! been two weeks. So my brain already says Thank that. Thank you. I, I, this is <laughs> this is well. It's it's so funny how your brain just resets normal on you, and then everything yeah. else that was normal is just totally abnormal now. And I, I I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this as much. I really like, and I'm like, no, I'm not going back anymore. No. I'm, I'm all in on the new one. And uh, I've I've reconfigured my touch bar because I even though they moved it away from the keyboard, yeah. I kept hitting it. A Siri would launch, or my calendar would launch something. So, uh, and I've recommended better touch tool. If you have a touch bar, you just have to oh, yeah. have oh, yeah. that better touch tool. And yeah. uh, there's a chaos um, uh, configuration for better touch tool. Installed that, turned a bunch of stuff off. And now I have lots of information on my touch bar and nothing I can hit <laughs> that will launch That's anything. so much more helpful though, right? And that's, it's great. It tells me battery, it tells me my next calendar, it tells me weather. Um, yeah. And then if I press a key, I can get, you know, uh, one uh, one thing I do that I, I can touch is the window snapping and the full screen. I do that a lot. I'm moving windows around and stuff. And that's just really handy. So you can, you know, I've, I revise my opinion of the touch bar. If, I mean, Apple as shipped, it's not very good. But if you uh, take some time to configure it with better touch t tool, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. And then I could press the function key to get function buttons. I could press the command key. I can see my dock, which is awesome. If I press the command key, it shows my dock. So if my dock's hidden, it's a very quick way. I really am very happy. If you add, it's the chaos, chaos, I can't remember what it's called, chaos theory, something plug-in for touch tool. That's really good.